needed to rest it, and our family business is making money off other people's junk. No matter what we find, we always see dollar signs. On this episode, <laughs> I'll make you the lowrider of Pogo Stick. That's it. Okay. For 1200 bucks, you could have all three. Ah, oh, you're tapping into my beer money. I'm John. I'm the negotiator, and I know junk. This is my brother Jimmy. Jimmy's our creative genius who transforms trash into cash. I think I'm the king of the world. I made it. That's my son Matthew, aka Rat Boy. He doesn't talk much, but he's a hard worker and a good kid. Good job, Rat Boy. We put it all on the line each weekend at flea markets all over New York City. Living the dream. I'm a flea market vendor. Every negotiation I make can mean the difference between going broke, hundred bucks, or big profits. It's a good day's pay. Welcome to Dirty Money. <laughs> On our walk over to Clay's, we saw some guys in the park doing some amazing tricks on these pogo sticks. We just had to stop. Oh, come on. Let's go check it out. Those guys are awesome. What's up, man? Hi, I'm Jimmy. This is John. Hey, man. Nice to meet you. How you doing? This is my nephew, Rap Boy. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, man. These pogo sticks are really amazing. I just have to find out more about this technology. You got these, which are vertigos, right? They have compressed air. And then you got the fly bars, and those use gigantic rubber bands that kind of yeah. stretch out like bungee cords. We have all of the versions that have ever been made. Jimmy's known for his custom orders, and I'm seeing an opportunity here to talk these guys into a custom pogo stick with a nice price up front. What if we made you one that you've never seen before? And we'd be interested in that. Perfect. What if he made you something that looked kind of real cool, old school? We'd be interested. I mean, seriously. I can't bring anything new to this technology. These guys are jumping 10 feet in the air on air-powered pogo sticks. But I think with my creativity and style, I can make them something very cool that will impress them. Well, I'll tell you what. He is making this thing from scratch. Yeah. And uh, would you guys go anywhere, like, between four and 500 if we made something you like? If you, if you made something... And it's got some, you know, tweaks in the technology, and it's one of a kind, unique thing. We could talk between 400, 500, yeah. You guys got the crotch rocket of Pogo Sticks. I'll make you the low rider of Pogo Sticks. That's it. There all you right. go, low rider. All right, all right. Nick, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Thank you very right. much. Yeah. Wait to see it. I never made a Pogo Stick before, but John picked up the custom order. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but what I do know, Clay's going to have some box for me. Hey, Clay, what's up, dude? Hey, Jim. How are you, bud? All right, good. I'm glad you're here. Hey, you got any uh, extra pipe? Yeah, yeah I got some more pipe downstairs. You want to come take a look? After you run down. Watch your step, guys. Oh, dude. Something, right, John? Whoa. You want to play a little game called... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, what kind of games do you want to play? <laughs> Name that fire code violation. Clay's basement is amazing. It's jam-packed full of goodies that we know about, but nobody else knows. Are those jacks holding anything up over there? Oh, sure. <laughs> what do you think? These things all end up a seven-story brownstone, and they were bowed in the middle. Yeah. They look like the high heels of a fat chick at a wedding. You ever see them? <laughs> oh, jeez. Rat boy. Yeah, you're up, dude. My son Rackboy is the apprentice in our business, and this is where he shines. Looking for something like one and a half, one inch, somewhere between. Be careful. Should be plenty of that stuff back there. Safety first. You know, he's got to go in the back, in the corner, up, down, in, out. I need to stay near the front yeah. in case something goes down. Too skinny. Too big, too big. Oh, that's too thick, dude. Is that solid? Yeah, that's good. If that's solid rock, put that aside. Two pieces? Yeah. All right, yeah, put yeah, that yeah, aside. I'll take good. that. Is that a spring? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like an old spring. When Rat Boy brought up this spring, right then, I knew what the pogo stick was going to look like and how it was going to work. This is one pipe inside another. All right. This is another piece of metal. We did really good at Clay's. We paid 10 bucks. We got almost all the parts for a $500 custom pogo stick, and we got these cool chair bottoms. We're doing good. I still have to make the pogo, you know. 
You'll figure it out. That's nothing. You're a genius, whatever. This is the way a traditional pogo works. Push it down, it springs up. Push, Push it, it down, down, it springs, springs up. up. Got it. Now, I want to use a spring that's already compressed, but you get the energy when it stretches and then Pulls returns down. back down. Because we're using a spring that's designed to pull open a several hundred pound garage door, I think we're going to have enough kinetic energy to propel somebody in the air. So when you jump down on it, it's going to stretch, and then by going back to its rest position, it's going to send you in the air. Wow. Not you, maybe, but your son. First, we're going to attach the spring to a wooden base. Then we're going to build the foot pegs out of some scrap steel I have lying around the shop. It's starting to look like a pogo stick already. Once I connect all these parts together and ratchet down the spring, that's going to give me enough kinetic energy to create some propulsion. There you go. That's the concept. Yeah. Nice. Now that I'm sure that the spring works, I just have to build an industrial looking case and handlebars for the pogo stick. Look at this. Whoa. This is nuts. Yeah, that looks like a, like a Holly Davidson pogo stick. Add the action. It feels pretty good. You ready? All right. Since Rappo is the most athletic among the three of us, he's going to try the pogo stick. I'm feeling pretty confident about this test run. I have a feeling it's going to work nicely. Ready, gloves? Right Straight back. up and down. Let it go. Don't fall. Okay. 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 Are you all right? All right. You know what? I'm no pogo expert, but this thing sucks. Evaluation time. What's happening? We got a bent pole. It seems to be going all the way to the ground and not coming up quick enough. I think the spring we're using is way too long. I'm going to have to reconceptualize this whole build. Who would have thought building a pogo stick would be this difficult? Pain in the ass. So what do you think? I think I can get it working. I'll just take a little bit more time in the shop. Okay. I have faith that Jimmy can finish his pogo stick, but I can tell he's really frustrated right now. Here you. You're right. I'm, okay. I'm thinking. Hey, listen, you, you're still with the pogo stick. That pogo stick ain't the boss of you, right? It was just now. And now that you guys are a little bit ahead of the game, do you think that I can work on my pogo stick again? Sure. You want to get back to your pogo stick? If you don't mind, is that all right? Okay. Take it apart, Pam. I am so happy with the way these turned out. Some Mets fan is going to go nuts for these seats. I think we can get upwards of 300 bucks a pop for each of them at the flea market. Coming up. Pogo stick? Yep. Can I see it? Let's see what Nick sees. This is a little out of our realm, me not seeing one of our products. I'm here to see the stick. Uh oh. So am I. We finished our Met shares, which I hope we can get about 300 bucks each for, but the Pogo, still a no go. Hopefully, Jimmy will get this thing working before the flea market. I think I got this pogo dilemma worked out. This pogo spring is way too long and it's causing the frame to hit the ground. Okay. If this pogo is going to work, I need to completely rework the spring concept. I'm going to cut the spring in half and double them up. This is going to reduce the travel on the springs, but give it more kinetic energy to throw somebody into the air. I'm also going to add a floating mechanism so that we can adjust the tension in the springs. It's a lot of work to do in one day. I just hope I can finish before the flea market. kitchen flea market and all the months are out trying to get a piece of the action. After a long night of welding, my pogo creation is finally about to see the light of day. Pogo stick? Yep. Can I see it? You'll see it when Nick sees it. I want you to be as surprised as Nick is going to be. All right, we have some great one-of-a-kind items this weekend. We have the chum items. We bought 30 bucks from Willie. We got the bases for the med chairs and all the metal we needed for the pogo sticks from Clay for only 10 bucks. With all these items, we're looking to make at least 1,500 bucks in sales. Now it's time to start selling. I agree. 25 on the left. I only need this lens. How about 10? 10 for this, you know, and I'll uh, let me 
Use your screwdriver to get it open. 25 for the lens. Okay, 50. 50, that's my, my best price. And, and you keep this and you put a piece of glass here and you sell it for someone else. This guy doesn't get it. I build things for a living, not take things apart. So that's a good deal for you. So I, I, I give you like a 50, just for this part. 25 for the whole lamp. You probably need to keep it. Sorry. Have a nice day. It also didn't help that it was a pain in the ass. Would you like to buy a lamp? What? Of course. <laughs> 10 bucks. Five bucks. No, no, no. <laughs> you keep it, you keep it. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? Good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Nick? Good. 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 This is a little out of our realm, not me seeing one of our products. So, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous. Have I ever found? No. But I haven't seen it yet. So what the f*** are you worried about? Here we go. I like the wrapping. It looks like something from CSI or a crime scene. All right, dude, you ready? Yeah, Three, two, it. one. Coming up. They should put these in Shea Stadium now. They should. Yeah. Yeah. You never underestimate someone by the way they look dress or talk. I could do like 700. Because their money is as green as anyone else's. Things are starting off a little bit slow today here at the Hell's Kitchen Flea Market, but we do have one sure thing. Jimmy's commissioned pogo stick. Let's hope that Nick the pogo guy likes this Jimmy the Rester original. All right, dude, you ready? On three, two, one. Oh, oh nice. dude. Got a little cage on here. Yeah, heavy metal. I had a few trial and errors so I got to this stage. You can see I'm using a double spring that gets extended as opposed to compress. Yeah, that's new. That's cool. And uh, this is one garage door spring cut in half and then hooked onto this adjustable mechanism right here. This is awesome. I must admit the technology on this pogo stick is really cool. Thank you. Yeah, but will it bounce? I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> There we go. All right. Hey. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it works. Of course it works. There you go. Right on, dude. Yeah, look at that. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> Not bad. When I met you guys, I saw those crotch rockets you were using, yeah. and I knew I couldn't compete technically. So I just wanted to make a piece of bouncing sculpture. We might not get the air we get out of the yeah, one, but I like it. I yeah. mean, like I said, we have every pogo stick that's ever been created. Right on. Now we got this guy. This thing's a beast. It's retro, cool, a piece of art. And that's what we were interested in, that's what we got. Let's do it. Right. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Thanks, dude. Cool. Well, you did it. It wasn't easy, man. I don't ever want to see a pogo stick ever again. You don't want to open up a pogo stick store? Cash you pogo? They got creative minds, these guys, man. And that's what I learned today, is that, you know what? You can think of something, try doing it. These guys did that, man. They thought of something awesome, and they freaking did it, man. And they got a proud customer right here. All right, so not a bad day. Yeah, we got it. A uh, pre-ordered, one-of-a-kind pogo stick sold for 500 The three Mets office chairs brought in a total of 750 And with the Chum sales, we made a total profit of over $1,400.